Street Racer is a racing video game published by Ubisoft for various systems. It was released for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1994, Sega Mega Drive in 1995 PlayStation, Sega Saturn and Game Boy in 1996 and PC and Amiga in 1997. Marketed as a cross between Mario Kart and Street Fighter, the go-kart-themed game combined racing with comedy and beat-em-up influenced violence. The game was a success on the SNES and Mega Drive and received mixed reviews across platforms. Gameplay Street Racer is a go-kart racing game which combines racing with violence. Characters can strike opponents with their fists and must avoid explosives littered around the track. The game's characters including Surf Sister and Frank Einstein possess unique power-ups such as the Screaming Banshee, Batmobile, Magic Carpet and Triplane. The game features the ability to race various championships beginning with the Bronze Championship and moving on to progressively more difficult competitions. An alternative one-on-one -on -one mode is also available. The game awards points for final race positions, with bonus points given for accolades such as Fastest Lap. The competitor with the most points after all races wins the championship. The game includes a rumble mode in which players attempt to force opponents from an arena. The soccer mode is a free-for-all football match with one goal and in which players tackle by colliding with the opponent. As in many racing games, the AI in Street Racer adjusts itself according to the player's performance, becoming harder to beat if the player does well and easier to beat if the player makes mistakes. One of the main selling points of the later PlayStation and Saturn versions was that they supported up to eight players on a split screen, something that would have ordinarily caused slowdown to the point of unplayability on contemporary gaming hardware. Reception GamePro's Sarah Nade gave the SNES version a rave review, saying that it features gameplay similar to Super Mario Kart but is even better. She praised the large selection of imaginative tracks, the individualized special weapons for each character, the four-player head-to-head-to-head-to-head mode, the ability to rewatch races from any angle, the graphics, the smooth controls, and the alternate rumble and soccer modes. She concluded that UBI Soft has outdone itself with this racing winner. Street Racer was a top SNES game and highly successful on the Mega Drive according to Amiga Format. Reviewing the Amiga version, Andy Smith of Amiga Format complained of the soccer mode. Your car moves as if it's in treacle while everyone else seems to be on greased rails. The reviewer said the soccer mode was bizarre and, frankly, not much fun. He called the rumble mode even less exciting and said of the game overall, it's not that it's a complete pig or anything, it's just that it promises so much and manages to deliver so little. Smith said the good tracks of the top SNES game version had been sacrificed for decent speed and complained that this speed ruined the cornering mechanics. He said the background graphics were attractive but the animations, jerky, and wrote, Well done chaps, you've made a crap racing game with some nice backgrounds. He also called the music, dreadful, and sound effects, crap. CU Amiga magazine complained that the tracks were shallow, but contended the game's appeal was in combating other characters. The reviewer noted the, pretty intense, action of the rumble mode and said the football mode did not live up to its potential but was a pretty reasonable distraction. The magazine said the game was simple but demented fun and praised its variety. Jeff Kitts, reviewing the PlayStation version in GameSpot, called the game mildly entertaining and said, it's good enough for a weekend rental, but not much more. In Electronic Gaming Monthly, Todd Mowat applauded the dramatic improvements seen in the PlayStation version, the selection of tracks, the weapons, and the eight-player feature, while Joe Rybitsky argued that the tracks are uninteresting and sometimes even tedious, and that the amusement offered by the weapons quickly wears thin. Gideon of GamePro agreed that the abundance of options and features are countered by the short and cluttered track designs and difficult-to-follow split-screen display. 
However, he also praised the cartoon-like graphics and responsive controls, and deemed it a solid substitute for Mario Kart on the PlayStation, though he recommended gamers rent it before deciding whether to buy. Like Todd Mowat, Next Generation considered the PlayStation version a remarkable leap above the earlier versions, praising the abundance of options, smooth and intuitive controls, fluid animation, and challenging track design, and concluded that it isn't the most technically advanced or groundbreaking title of the season but still manages to be just plain fun. Reviewing the Saturn version, GamePro's Captain Cameron praised the wide variety of moves but criticized that the split screen makes the portions of the screen too small when there are more than four players. He concluded the game as, not a bad rental, it's just not unique or funny enough to warrant a purchase. Rob Bright of Sega Saturn magazine found, the characters a bit tacky and the characters largely derivative, but praised the game's artificial intelligence and variety of game modes. He called the graphics, very nice indeed, colorful and rich in detail, but said, racing tends to give you the impression that the road is moving while the car remains stationary. He compared the game to Mario Kart, saying, it lacks the overall accessibility of the Super NES Classic and the course design isn't quite as innovative. He said, Street Racer remains very playable and challenging and is especially fun in multiplayer mode. Other critics also noted that the game was inspired by Mario Kart, with Esquire calling it a likable clone, boasting more cartoon characters in the kind of no-holds-barred go-kart race you dream of having when you come home from the pub with your chums. GamePro's brief review of the Game Boy version stated that this cool little racer gives you lots of ways to race. The characters are cartoony, and the racing's decent. <laughs>